everybody you are welcome to MySQL and Java tutorial bar 2 here's Ahmad Nasser from Birzit University as all time I would like to welcome you in our channel Stereo 007 first thing I would like you to subscribe my channel and after that let's get started as you can see here I'm on the desktop and I need to run the WAMP server because I need to access the PHP in my admin I need an access to the MySQL database so as we agreed in the previous tutorial we're gonna use PHP in my admin in order to manage the MySQL database so it's easy way to run the PHP in my admin you just go to the toolbar down here you can see the WAMP server you just left click and you see PHP PHP in my admin here you just click on it and it's gonna be run on the screen as you can see so the first thing we can do here is creating our database and we need to create a database for the school so the first thing you need to do is going to databases and here you can create your new database so let me name it as a school okay so here we have the name of the database you just stick with a default configuration and just type create okay so here you can see database school has been created so after you create the database you can see it on the left sidebar of your uh, browser you can see it to the left and it's here school you just run the school by double click on the school you can see here there's no tables found in the database so we need to create an, a new table in order to work with and as we agreed in the previous tutorial we need to make a students table so let me create a new table by clicking on the create table button here you can see the table name so let me enter the table name the table name will be student since we're talking about school and the first column will be the ID and let me put it as an integer and enable auto increment because I don't want each time to come to the table and add one two three I need its uh, the ID to be auto incrementing each time I add a new record into the database so it's preferable to make ID as uh, auto increment you can put this as a primary key and uh, by using the uh, auto increment primary and you know you choose this to be auto increment and you go to the index and type primary so it's become a primary key so after this you need to save the record so we just double click or click on the save and you can see here we should see a student table with an ID column so we just got one column which is for the ID in order to add more columns like name address email per date something like that you need to add more columns or more fields so in order to do this using PHP my admin you just come here add and you just type go and we need to add a new one column and you just type go here you just get this uh, uh, form you need to type the column name so let me type name and the type is gonna be vartar and the length is gonna be 30 and you just type go okay we created a column name for um, you can type you know go to add many fields but let me just type make one uh, 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 at a time so just save it we can see here we add the name varchar theory into the database you can see the record here we got the name column you can add other column name that by the same process just go go here and just type the for example address and let me name it to be the link values to be varchar and the type to be varchar let me put it 50 just save it 
and as you can see here we got an ID we got a name we got an address okay so you can insert data into this uh, uh, table because it's now it's an empty table we don't have any record okay we have the structure we have the schema but we don't have any record in this table we need to insert uh, uh, records and data in this to fill in the the table so don't touch the ID because it's auto increment you know it's gonna be by default start from zero uh, from one two three so there is no need to w play with ID you just focus on the name and address you just come to the name you can type something here you can add an address just uh, for example uh, okay you can go you 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 know you can see you inserted uh, the, the the new field here okay you can copy this and paste you know paste it here you can type for example this is one this is two oh, I'm sorry this is two this is three just wanna uh, uh, any value just proof of concept you just type go and you, see, you can see here we should see three records now okay you can see one two three and the first one by first click we got four records so let me delete this I just want three records here you can see here one two three I got three records saved in my student table you can add many students as you want as you want but you know this is just for demonstration in this way what we have done until the moment we created a database school and we created a table and we are able now to add fields and insert fields into the student table add more columns okay so now you're ready to control and and be fully managed for the database so this is pretty much the first tutorial that I gonna wanna that I wanna show you on how to create a database and manage it using PHP my admin as you can see it's a very easy tool and has a lot of features and I recommend this for uh, for you. There's other tools like Navicat and many other tools, but BHP My Admin is one of the best. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and wait for us for the next video. And we're gonna start the implementation using Java and NetBeans and how to connect to the student table. So thank you again. See you in the next video.